My name is Alex Hess, 23 years old. This is my dog, Ginger, also known as Ginger Bean. Uh, she's about three and a half. Uh, she's a Labrador and Sharpay mix. If I say the word, she'll get excited and want to jump up and start going. Um, I just ask her if she wants to go for a ride. Want to go for a ride? And she just she perks up and gets ready to go. And most of the time, if I'm not holding her, she'll get down there and just start whining until I take her. And uh, I get, put her in her harness, which she doesn't really like too much, but uh, can't have her pull, pulling by her neck, which you know, don't want to hurt her. Longboarding with Ginger, actually, it started off with uh, riding a bike and her pulling me and really realizing her strength. And my roommate, actually, at the time, had a longboard. And uh, I just decided to um, see if I would what, would what it would be like for her to pull me and I decided to jump on that and she would pull me around the park at Extra Shore Park down just across the way and uh, got to be to where there was too many squirrels and she loves to go whichever way to chase a squirrel. So that got a little bit difficult and also there's no skateboarding in the park which in turn I started skateboarding on the street and we have a regular run of going uh, around the park, um, just going down to Columbia, and a ride on 7th, and a ride on Esther, and back on to Columbia again. I try to wait for the light down uh, on 7th in Columbia to, to just turn green so we make the light and make the corner really, really uh, smoothly and quickly and don't have to worry about stopping on the red light or worrying about cars passing or whatnot. To longboard with Ginger is actually, is, is a, uh, incredible rush. You don't really, it's almost like going downhill 100% of the time. You don't really have to, to pedal or to push off and uh, it's, a, it's a great experience because you know, she's, she's getting a good run, getting a good workout which she needs and uh, I'm enjoying the rush of getting some speed without having to do too much work or to go climb a hill or you know. Um, so it's, it's good for both of us. So we have a good time doing it. She, if I, like, if, I, if I didn't stop her, she would just keep going, no matter how tired she is, she, she loves it. And we just do that about three, about three times uh, every run, um, probably about on average once or twice a day, depending on the weather and how she feels. Ginger's health is absolutely uh, first, uh, first at mind, uh, first thing I think about. Um, I recently just moved into these condos and she's pretty much stuck inside all day. So I like to get her out and take her running and get her good exercise since she is cooped up inside. Um, but also her running um, on the concrete, on the asphalt, it's tough on her paws. Um, so I have to keep a, a good eye on that and how, if she's limping at all or if she's looking a little sluggish, I, I have to Keep an eye on her every about every two to three days. I check her paws, make sure they're not uh, getting chafed or worn out, and just to make sure she's in good health because that's the ultimate number one goal.